Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Forza Motorsport 6 Apex on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti As you can see a DirectX 12 game on the Microsoft Store As you can see here, it's a beta, it's free to play And it's running on DirectX 12 So, yeah It doesn't work with any overlay I tested, it doesn't work with cam but some some of my viewers told me about action that it works with action as long as I'm playing it like this. So I'll I'll explain more of it right now. If you want to skip this, check the description below. For FPS monitoring, I usually use cam. If you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the cam logo is, or check the description below to learn more. Now I'll just use it to see the CPU and GPU usage while I play the game. I'll see the frame rate with with action and the rest with cam. Once Microsoft allows us to use real overlays like cam on on their games of the store, I'll use cam on this game. So in the meantime, I'll use action and show you the usage which with cam every once in a while. And well, here you see the C GPU usage and the CPU usage. Then we, we can see the RAM usage too and all that stuff. I try downloading this with the PC with the i3. It didn't allow me. It said that I didn't have enough <laughs> enough hardware to run it. So I moved the Samsung Ti to my other rig. And okay, let's see how it runs. We go into the menu and go into the options, video, and as you can see here we have dynamic render quality on medium, we cannot go any further than that, it's unavailable, the game won't allow us to go past, past certain settings. We have a resolution and force resolution, this is important. Force resolution is that the game will stay at this resolution I chose, 1080p, no matter the, the size of this window. So even if I do this, it will, ups, it will scale to 1080p. So this is running at 1080p no matter what. So as you can see here, it says force resolution. When force resolution is turned on, as you can see there, the game will always render at the selected resolution and scale the scene to fit the window. So it will use this resolution right here. It won't change. So we're running it at 1080p. Then we have dynamic optimization, which chooses the settings of the game for us. We put on custom and we have a lot of things to choose from, as you can see. So here you can see the performance target, 30 or 60 FPS. So if you choose 30, the game will change the settings accordingly so we can get the best quality and hit, 60, uh, hit 30 frames per second. And if you have, if you choose 60, it will lower the settings so you can reach 60 frames per second and play like that. So, okay, let's start with 30, then we'll do 60. Then as you can see here, I suggest just keeping all this in dynamic. Don't even try to play with the settings, you won't get the desired performance. It's very hard to achieve. I prefer the game taking care of that. But we have all this, and as a shopping 16 times, shadow quality from low to ultra. Procedural quality from low to ultra, car textures low to high, car model quality low to high. I mean, a lot of options, as you can see, particles too, that for field, MSAA. Yeah, MSAA seems to be mandatory in this game for some reason. Lens flares, low, medium, high, windshield reflections <laughs> from low to ultra, track textures from low to ultra, and reflections from low to ultra. So I prefer to keep everything on dynamic except the, except the performance target. So we choose which frame rate we want. So if we keep it at 30, the game will look better, but it will run at 30. If you want 60, the game will look worse, but it will run at 60. So one thing I forgot to mention here on I overclocked the SAM50 Ti, as you can see, 200 MHz to the core and 400 MHz to the VRAM. I will underclock the car to the stock settings after a moment. So you can see how the game runs without it. So we'll start with the overclock settings <clears throat> and then we will start without overclock. So 1080p, we target 30 FPS. I'm sorry, I gotta close this. I gotta close after burn it. It will keep the overclock, trust me. So everything on dynamic, we target 30 and we place OK and we jump into a race. We start. And well, I'll see you once the game finishes loading. 
Okay guys, so now we're into the game. As you can see, we're getting 30 FPS as, I, as we target it. So let's start with the race, shall we? Let's see if the game looks as good. Just look at those shadows. Oh man! <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Yeah, the game is looking nice from this perspective. I'll change into third person view so you have better details. As you can see, the shadows are popping up. Even on the on our competitors, the shadows are not very clear. They are kind of popping up, as you can see in the farther distance. But the shadows here of the objects around the, the track are pretty detailed, I gotta say. Even the shadows here affect the, your own car. What I can see is that the reflections, the reflections are very are very slow, like running slower than needed. As you can see, the reflections updates kind of light. It doesn't matter. The game looks fantastic, still. So let's switch into the first person view. Holy shit! Now let's see if it looks fine. We'll keep going. And as you can see, it looks fine. I crash there, I will rewind. Yeah, I want to resume from here. And I crashed anyway. Fuck this shit. Let's keep going. And yeah, from this perspective, it looks pretty nice. I won't lie. It looks totally fine from this perspective. And it runs consistently. So let's pause the game and see on cam what are the values. So, a minute. Our GPU usage was around yeah around eighty percent yeah mostly now we're we're not running the game so but yeah here we were around eighty percent most of the time so yeah the game is using lower settings that we will want to but as you can see here the CPU usage let me see in the hour wasn't that high. Yeah, as you can see, 64% the first core, and on this one, 86% on the second core. So that's not bad. I mean, it's kind of high usage. Uh, well, you understand. Then on RAM, we have, uh, hang on, 6.8 gigabytes of usage, which is kind of high, but it's not that bad. This game requires 16 gigabytes, according to the developer. I disagree. I think it's way too much, but whatever. So let's now target 60, shall we? 60 FPS, we enter OK. And we'll, I'll need to restart the race, I think. Let me see. Oh, apparently not. OK, so now the game changed its settings to allow us to get 60. Let's see if it changed in any way. Let's go into the third person view. Yeah, it looks a bit worse, but it still looks nice. I mean, look at this, the shadows are still there, the reflections too. And the game runs, yeah, the shadows are kind of terrible on your own car. But it runs at 60, so that's what matters. So yeah, 1080p 60, this is what we get. We can get stable 60, as you can see, with some overclock. Without overclock, it usually runs at 48 to 60, kind of all over the place, which is unfortunate. So yeah, I think I won't underclock the card, the video will be too long if I do, but I'll decide in a, in a couple minutes. But yeah, as you can see, we're getting consistent 60, so far so good. From inside the car, it looks better than from outside, I gotta say. <laughs> but yeah, look at this, it's totally playable. And that's what matters, that the game is playable. I don't know which setting the Xbox uses. And I don't really care, I just cared about playing this game, which looks phenomenal. So, uh, yeah. Let's see now the, the GPU and CPU usage. So... Hang on a second. Yeah, it seems that we were closer let me see. Uh, hang on. Let me do something else. Let's do this. 
Let's keep the game running. And see how it changes. So we are getting 70% usage on the CPU. 70 to 80, as you can see on the left. On, yeah, on the left. We're close to 90. And the GPU usage, I cannot see it from here. Hang on. There we go. We're using 77%. So we're not using the whole GPU, apparently. There's some bottleneck present, apparently. Or just the game limited uh, the settings so we have a, a lot of horsepower available in case it drops below 60. But yeah, as you can see, it runs fine at 60. I think we'll play it like this. As you can see the video settings, it won't go away from 1080p. As I showed you a second ago. Here we have 1080p and forced resolution, so no matter the size of the window, it will keep it will still be 1080p. That's how I set the game to run. So I think if I play like this, it should be fine. You have here the frame rate counter. We have here the game, and here we have the CPU usage and the GPU usage. So looks fine to me. Each second it this will be updated, so that's perfect. So let's now do 900 p shall we? We will target 60 and 900 p We'll restart the race, because why not? And let's see how it runs. I'll get this a little bigger, so you can see. We start the race. And let's see. I'll put it in for a person. Okay, the game looks a little better. And let's see the GPU usage. The CPU usage is around yeah, 90% in the second core and 80% on the first core. Remember that the i3 has hyper-threading, so that's important. And the temperatures are fine. And the GPU usage is around 85%. 70 to 85 percent but we're getting some drops some fps drops as you can see so that's not good it seems to be due to the number of racers playing with me here all cpu bound yeah as you can see the cpu is going to 90 percent the second core so i i smell some bottleneck here <laughs> a little so if you have an i5 and a 750 Ti, this game should run fine. You won't look... Well, okay. There are dropped to 15 FPS for a second. Oh yeah, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Let's jump straight into 720. 720p. So 720p, everything on dynamic. And we press OK. And we keep playing. And now the CPU usage is pretty much the same, as you can see. 60 to 70 on the first core, 80 to 90 on the second one. And the GPU usage, as you can see, is way lower. We have 50% usage, because the graphics are kind of shitty here. Yeah, they didn't tweak the graphics. Let me restart the race, so we'll make sure that they are tweaked as they should. But so far so good. Let's jump into the race. We start the race. Let's see if we can maintain 60s. Okay, now it looks better. I can notice it for now. It does look better. Still the shadows from your well from your <laughs> other opponents aren't that good. But the drug looks very nice. The drug look very nice looks very nice. And let's see the CPU, us the CPU usage, still pretty much the same, 90 on the second core as average, and 70 to 80 on the first core. But yeah, as you can see, the, CP the GPU usage is around 60 to 70 percent. So the game is not using the highest settings it could, so you can manually tweak that if you want. But yeah, the usually when you tweak it yourself, the game will run out of VRAM for some reason. The game is like a bitch with that. It says, hey, there's low video memory available. 
it will it will run like shit. I suggest you tweak some. It will just say that. <laughs> so the game will start to stutter all over the place to do the amount of VRAM. So that's unfortunate. So I suggest you keep it on dynamic and play how it and play it how it how the game wants you to. But yeah, since the game will always tell you, hey, you're running out of beer, and you cannot play, idiot. So keep that in mind. Just play on dynamic. The game will tweak itself so you can play at the best frame rate possible. So yeah, if you want better better graphics, cap it at 30. One better performance, cap it at 60. But yeah, don't even think about tricking, messing with this. Let me see. So shadows. Let's put them on high. And let's see if it does anything. Holy shit, the shadows look fantastic now. Look fantastic now. Look at this. Okay, so now as you can see, yeah, you can tweak in real time. The game is lying to you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, now the shadows are fine. And we have some headroom to spare. But yeah, don't change the textures. I think that's the main issue. Don't check the textures. But as you can see, it runs fine now. On 720p and 900p, feel free to up the shadows. On 1080p, don't even think about it. Trust me. 1080p, it's not a good idea to tweak the shadows. Then the reflections and all that stuff, keep it on dynamic. Trust me. On this one. <laughs> but yeah, we're hitting 60. Maybe on 720p, we can tweak some more stuff. But the game runs fine, as you can see. There no, I have no complaints. I'll keep tweaking it <laughs> until the game crashes. <laughs> because why not? Okay, particles, yeah, half. Uh, shape reflection. Oh, let's keep it on high. Reflections, yeah, let's keep it on high too. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it didn't affect much. Yeah, some settings that the game told us doesn't change in real time. Shadows do, so I suggest you keep the shadows up into the high settings. They look fantastic. But don't mess with the reflections, please. Reflections are overkill here. Oh, look at this, it looks fantastic. Let's see if we do the same at 1080p, what happens. Blah blah blah. 1080p, high shadows. Yeah, 1080p and high shadows is fine. Don't tweak anything else. As you can see, we're almost using the full GPU here. We're using 80%. But yeah, finally, a Dark Dex 12 game that runs fine. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. This looks phenomenal. Okay. So let's now. Close the game. Let's underclock our Sun Fifty Ti. Keep it at zero, just like in factory. We click this. We go into the game once again. So see you once the game loads again. Okay, guys. So now we are back into the game in the options menu. Let's do this. Particles. Dynamic, shadows, let's keep it on high, windshield, reflections on high, reflections on dynamic, everything on dynamic except shadows, shadows on high. Don't mess with MSAA, the fulfill particle effects, reflections or textures. Those will drive the, well, the VRAM insane and the game will say, hey, yo, you cannot, you're gonna play like that. It, the game will start to run like shit. So, okay, 1080p, everything on dynamic, except shadows, which are on high. So let's jump into the game. I will see you once the, game's, once the game loads. Okay guys, so now we're into the game. Remember that we're overclocked. I mean, I'm sorry, we are not overclocked. We have 1080p, high shadows, the rest on dynamic. So let's see how it handles without overclock yeah look at this game how beautiful it looks and as you can see now we're using 98% of the GPU as you can see on the left corner of the video 
And we're getting some drops into the... Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of stuttery now. We have some drops here and there. It's hard to steer. But it seems fine. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I suggest you... Yeah, let's lower the shadows a little. It drops a, a little... Awfully <laughs> below 60. Okay, now it's better. Right, as you can see, the GPU usage is around 90%. Holy shit, this is so fast. Now we drop to 71 and 60 because 60% because we are inside this place. When we are outside again, as you can see, we're getting 80% once again, and the CPU usage again 82% second core, going up to the 90s, and 60 to 70 on the first core. But yeah, that's pretty much what this game is. On 900p, you can. Let's go into 900p and I will show you instead of talking. We go into 900p, we put shadows on high, we press OK, we go into the game once again, 900p this time. And as you can see, the GPU usage is 70%, 70 to 80. So now it's stable. So I suggest you play at 900p with everything on dynamic and shadows, we keep them on high. And that should do. As you can see, we're getting 60s, the game looks fantastic. So I have no complaints. The game looks very, very good. So yeah, on 720p it will be the same. I will show you. 720. As you can see, we're using even less GPU, 65%, and the game still runs at 60 and looks fantastic, so that's pretty much all I got to say for now. Holy shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.